If you had told me 18 years ago that I would be married to my best friend and high school sweetheart, I would think that you were crazy. And even more crazy if you told me I would end up having six kids. But here we are, and I wouldn't trade it for the world. This doesn't feel natural. <laughs> this is unnatural. What part of it? I'm supposed to look at this. <laughs> yes, don't touch it though. <laughs> okay. So. Sorry, I'm not ready yet. You didn't <laughs> warn me. You're supposed to say, ready. What is it? Lights, Lights, camera, action. Ready, set, go. Ready, set, go. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. And today I have a special guest star, John, my husband. Um, <laughs> So today's video is actually going to be a Q&A with a homeschool dad. That'd be me, I guess. <laughs> so this video is actually part of a collab with my friend Tiffany over at Bless Bears and she had this awesome idea to do this dad, homeschool dad Q&A. Um, and the purpose of this is just to maybe help any of you men out there that might be watching to hopefully become a little more solidified on homeschooling. So we're gonna get started and the first question I'm gonna ask John here is, how long has your family been homeschooling? Seven years. I said the wrong thing, it's six years. No, well, uh, yeah. we're going into our sixth six year. Um, but unofficial seven. seven. Yeah. yeah, so you're Thank right. You. He's on it. Okay. Before you ever considered homeschooling, what was your opinion of it? Yeah, what was my opinion of homeschooling? So we didn't know a tremendous amount of homeschoolers because we both went to public school. Um, but we did go to college with some homeschool kids. Uh, <laughs> some, you know, there's always the stereotypes, right? Like homeschool kids are weird or they're socially awkward. Uh, for the most part, the kids that we knew in college weren't like that. Um, they were sociable. I mean, there was one person that was maybe like kind of kept to themselves, but for the most part, they were just normal people. So, um, I, 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 going into homeschooling or anything like that, I didn't think anything weird about it. I just, you know, just kids that, um, get to do school at home. All right. Did you have any reservations about homeschooling before you started? No. You put me at ease with that. So you had always prepared me. We were kind of on the, always on the same page with that, um, that it was kind of your desire to stay home with kids. That was always a part of our discussions uh, about our kids. So um, I was put to ease because um, that was something that you wanted to do. That felt something that you were called to do uh, by God. So it's kind of hard to argue <laughs> with that. And so no, I mean, when we uh, had those discussions, I didn't feel uncomfortable. Um, but once again, I didn't have a negative view of homeschooling either uh, at that point in our lives. Maybe if you asked me when I was a 15-year-old kid, I would have had a different opinion <laughs> or something. Maybe. I don't know. But um, no, we were always I probably on. would have had Yeah, I mean, I think we all would have, right? Yeah. But um, yeah, I, I didn't have any reservations at all. So what benefits do you see with homeschooling? Yeah, I mean, I think there are a ton of benefits, right? Um, I think you, most importantly, being in control of your kid's education, I think is super important. Um, and being able to control that as parents, uh, as opposed to being at the will of someone else and what their ideal, ideology is. Um, uh, I, I, I think that's the first thing I would say. The second thing is um, you get to incorporate um, our faith. We get to incorporate our faith in uh, with our kids learning so it's it's not separate uh, it's just all in one right and I think that's super important and just being able to spend more time uh, with our kids um, also being able to uh, them to be able to play at home stuff like that getting to do what you want to do when you want to do it being in control of your schedule for the most part um, especially with schooling I think is just 
extremely important, and I think it's a giant benefit. And not to mention you can go on vacation kind of whenever you want. So Yes, you that's, can. Come on, that's really the number one reason. Yeah, for real. <laughs> what do you think homeschooling has done for your relationship with your kids? I'll be interested to hear your answer here. <laughs> right, yeah, I think that, oh man, I don't really know what it's like not to have a relationship with my kids outside of that. But we've always had those conversations, right? Like, mm -hmm. I've always thought, oh my gosh, what would our life be like if our kids were in public school? Because we have, we also have uh, tons of friends that kids go to public school. And that, to me, sounds a little bit like a nightmare. So, um, I know what you're, with your kids more, obviously. Um, but with that, it's, I can't imagine us, because I would imagine if our kids were in public school, right? Our younger kids will be in daycare. You would be working, I would be working. Mm -hmm. So we'd both be coming home like late in the afternoon and then trying to clean house and get chores done and do homework and do um, I don't, all the stuff. And you know, you got hours of homework. Sports. Sports. I mean, it would be, yeah, God, I don't understand how the homework. you would even, I don't even understand how you would function that way. Um, it would be very difficult and very stressful to me. Mm -hmm. So, I've never personally experienced that. So. We kind of did have a little bit of taste of it. Yeah, with daycare. Um, yeah, well, but. that, but one of our kids did preschool mm -hmm. with public school. Yeah. And um, I know that's only like a half a day thing, and he was only four. But even that, I mean, all the papers and stuff like that, that would come home and I would forget, oh, I got to send this paper in the next day. Yeah, that's true. Just, and that was just signing papers trying to figure know? out how to like go to parent teacher meetings in the afternoon yeah luckily at that time i was uh working from home part-time yeah. right so uh, i was able to pick up marcus on certain days and i would always drop him off um if i didn't have that at that time <laughs> like i don't know what we would have I mean, he couldn't have yeah. done it i don't guess so yeah um that opened up that so yeah i, I don't really know what it would have been like necessarily to have all our kids in public school so yeah. um to get back to the question so it it allows us a to uh, for me to to spend more time with them in my opinion mm -hmm. more quality time um for me to be a part of their education you know uh, with everything going on now i'm working from home full time so if i need to step in and help it's easier for me to do that and i'm going to go back to working more part-time yeah. um, from home now uh and I think that just being able to be, even though it's in a limited sense, which we'll get to in a little bit, um, but I, I'm still get to be a part of that. You know, if I need to jump yeah. in and help with a la math lesson, like that's exciting to me. Like, or if I need to help Tanner with piano, which is part of school, right? Um, all of that kind of stuff. I don't know that I would be able to do. I, I know that I wouldn't be able and to do. And adding to that, I know this is a dad Q and A, but that I just kind of thought about this was that. Um, if another benefit I think about that is, and this is kind of going a little bit off of what that question was, but I think another benefit there is the fact that he is able to help and I feel like be more involved than if he would be able to if our kids were in public school or private school because I know everything that they're learning. Yeah, I mean... Everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm able to communicate that with him, and we have all of the textbooks and everything that they need for their learning here, and there's no question about where they're falling through the cracks when they're in public or private school um, because we are completely aware of it the whole entire time. And ultimately, parents know their kids better than anybody else. So... I think that's a common misconception too um, among people who have ideas about, oh, I could never do it because, well, you're a teacher. Of course you can do it. But homeschooling really is nothing like what I did in public school. It's just on a completely different level. And um, so, yeah, that well, could be a whole nother video in itself. Well, yeah, and I think the other part of that, the other benefit, I think, uh, for me with our kids is you don't have to fight that battle of advocating for your kid. Yeah, you know, that's you're so not, true. Um, you know, because it's it, you, you see that all the time where, you know, the, your kid has a struggle or something, and it's not the teacher's fault or the school's fault. 
but I mean, there's a lot of kids they have to deal with, right? But it's, it's really the system's fault. It's the system. It's the way that it's set up. I mean, and yeah, they don't really have any control over that. Um, because we have a lot of respect for people who do that because you did it for so long, right? So we've yeah. seen both sides of the coin uh, in that sense. So, um, yeah, I, I, th that's a battle you don't have to worry about. All right, so question number six. Do you teach anything to your children, and if so, what? Yeah, so my role with that is a little bit limited, right? You take care of most of that, and I just kind of step in where um, time is needed for me to step in. You're not able to finish something and you're in the middle of something, so. Or am I about to pull my hair out? Yeah, or you're just stressed out about it. And it's <laughs> it's usually when I get off of work. Um, so I might help with math, I've you know, uh, a little bit. I'm pretty sufficient in math, right? So. Uh, I would hope so. None of our kids are even in middle school. Yeah, so. Oh, that's a side note. I didn't say this at the beginning. Um, so we are parents to six children ages 10, 8, 7, 5, 3, and a little over a year old. So, yeah, I forgot to say that. Anyway, you sorry. So, um, did you want to add anything to that? Do you teach anything to your kids, and if so, what? Oh, yeah, so math is what I was saying. So, yeah, I, I've sorry. helped the kid with math, uh, the kids with math. Um, but mostly, I would step in and do Bible, you know, discipleship stuff. Uh, when that's needed or at night or whatever, we kind of, you know, school goes all day in our house, right? So there's never, Home everything schooling. is, yeah. And that's just part <laughs> of life for us. All right. Um, so what role do you play in homeschooling and how do you support your wife? Yeah. So once again, that kind of goes over what we just kind of talked about, right? Yeah. Uh, it's a kind of the same thing. I'm just kind of the support for you and how do I do that? I kind of step in and uh, pick up the slack where it's needed. If it's a busy day for you or um, it's a stressful day or there's a lot going on, um, I, I, I would do that. I also try to help give you opinions on uh, what our kids are choosing, what you're picking out for curriculum. You know, you'll get my opinion on that. Um, so uh, that's kind of how I roll. I'll let you kind of take the lead and then because uh, that's kind of your area of expertise. <laughs> <laughs> we were both uh, going to be uh, teachers, and, like, I didn't end up doing that. So there's a reason. He that changed he... his major, like. Am I junior year or something like that? It was, yeah. You had, like, one year to fit it all in. No, yeah. it was, like, a year and a half. The rest of it. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> but anyway, I would just say, yeah, I mean, how do I support you? Um, I just step in where it's needed. So. Uh, and then I help you pick out stuff, or I you, I don't really help you pick out stuff. You pick it and then ask my opinion of it if I think it would work. He so. also supports me because he can always read me really well. And so, plus he's working downstairs right now so he can hear yes. what the day is like. <laughs> so if I need to come upstairs, you need to break. No. Mm. Um, and so he is amazing about noticing and knowing when I need a break and giving me that break even like in the evenings if I need to get away and take a nice relaxing bath or he even fixes dinner sometimes <laughs> yeah when it's hot dogs right? <laughs> you can do more than that meatloaf you I've did done learn that how to make meatloaf yeah or spaghetti yeah or chicken breakfast. nuggets <laughs> You can make regular homemade chef. pizza. Homemade pizza. God, like is... from scratch. I'll be honest though. To make homemade pizza by yourself with all the kids, that is very stressful. But he's done it several times. But I've times. done it a lot. Okay. It is stressful though. <laughs> Would you ever put your children in public school? No, right? <laughs> that was the easiest question. And go back to like question one or two or whatever it was. It's like, I, I don't know. It just seems stressful to me. And I know people, that's just like their normal lives. And that's fine. Like, that's what you've chosen. There's no Most judgment the, there. I no, disclaimer yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I get it. Like, you can handle it. Like, I just, I, I don't know. Like, that's just not the way we roll as a family. And that's... But it, we it, also have a lot of personal convictions about it as well. Right, yeah. yeah. I mean, we do. And, um, 
you know, I don't think there's anything wrong with putting your kids in public school. I mean, we both had a public school education when we lived, you know, but um, it's a, it's even a lot different from than what we were kids, which was, you know, that was a long time ago. But We both had a public education, but let's put it this way. God is sovereign. Yeah, right. I mean, really, seriously. I would rather God lead lead those things and then us kind of uh, be stewards of that. So we also discussed... Um, private education but like the cost for that just didn't make any sense and um, by the time you hit like a threshold of like four kids like financially stuff just completely changes mm -hmm. um, so it really just never never made any sense for us to go that route yeah um, but that doesn't mean that we never will number nine what would you say to the man who is unsure or on the fence about homeschooling right and we kind of talked about this like for two seconds right um, yeah. I don't remember what he said. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, does it matter? Does it, do you have to know what I said? I guess I'm going to hear. Now you'll find out my okay. opinion of this. Here we go. Yeah, I just, I said I, it's, it's a little hard for me to relate to that, um, because we were always on the same page, right? So our relationship really doesn't work to where, um, you would want to do something and then I wouldn't want to support that. So, um, the majority of the time, I, I, I'm sure there's been stuff, but, um, on major things like, are you going to homeschool your kids or, um, quit your job, quit your home. job home to come home? You know, we're on the same page yeah. there. Right. And yeah. I want to support you to be able to do that. So what that question kind of sounds like to me when I hear that question is like, a wife wants to homeschool her kids, but then the dad has reservations about it. Okay, so it's a it's a touch hard for me to relate, but that's not to say this is what I you know I would say what why you know you always have to ask a question. You know that's what I would say. That was where I would start. If you have reservations, why do you have reservations? Mm -hmm. So find out what those reservations are. Okay, but what are the whys, and then list those out. And do those sound silly? You know. It's because... Or are those for self? Self. 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 And that's what I mean. Yeah. That's what I mean by silly, right? And that's what I was going to get into. You knew... Sorry. See, she knows the answer, right? I can read so, Oh, my gosh. I get you're supposed to lead. And that's... Sometimes that's being a support. Leading is being a servant. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, that's kind of how I roll um, as a guy. Like, I want to serve my family whatever is best for them. And if that means homeschooling my kids, then let's go all in, you know what I mean? And uh, so that, I, you know, I would challenge you with that is if that's a desire for your wife, then why are you kind of being the, why are you being the one that's like being reserved Stop about it? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I would never do that. And I want, you want to ride hard for your family and ride for your wife. And uh, that's really the way you have to look at it. And uh, right. to be honest, She's the one that's going to be doing all the work. Look at Daisy part. <laughs> like, my wife is the one I get to be like, yeah, uh, we have six kids. And people are like, six kids? And I'm like, yeah, and my wife homeschools. And then she's like, they're like, what is wrong with your wife? Is she insane? I'm like, yeah, I don't know, bro. She's like crazy, crazy I'm, awesome. <laughs> I'm insane. No, yeah, I mean, but, uh, yeah, anyway. Also added in there, I think a big reservation that people have is financial reservations. And this was a huge reservation for us as well. Right. And so we were looking at our finances when the decision happened for me to stay at home. Looking at our finances, it wouldn't have worked out. But it's a lot of sacrifice, but it doesn't feel like sacrifice. Um, mm -hmm. It's lifestyle change, but it doesn't feel like lifestyle change. Yeah, that's a good point. You know, that's you something know? I didn't really think about with that question. Uh, because, I mean, I had reservations with you staying at home when we were both working just because we weren't sure how we would pay for everything. Mm -hmm. um, and that that's a good point, right? And that's usually how a guy thinks, right, is financially. Like, especially if your wife is working currently but mm -hmm. wants to stay home and homeschool your kids, right? Um, that's a great point. I would just say, you know... Uh, you just kind of got to, you kind of, kind of dive off the cliff with that and you just kind of. Not like, recklessly. Not but, recklessly, but I mean, you do but, have to make a jump, right? I mean, it is yeah. a jump of faith um, that it's going to work out. Yeah. And, but once again, I, it was so overwhelming that that's what we needed to do uh, and obvious that's what we needed to do. It made it a little, it obviously made that easier. 
Um, uh, and we also just got to a point where our finances, like, we were, <laughs> until we got to four kids, for us, it was kind of like, well, I mean. What finances? Yeah, I mean. <laughs> So, yeah, I mean, you do have to be, but that goes back to what I was saying before. You have to sacrifice. You have to serve your family. And what what do you have to do to serve your family? Do you have to eat out less or do you have to, um, you know, drop, Which kind the, of happens drop, automatically. The TV, drop the TV subscription or drop mm. the whatever service or drop the I'm going out to golf every single weekend or, you know, I don't get to do those things anymore. And I'm cool with that. Like. Um, that's fine with me. Like, um, it just makes it more special when you do get to do that. Yeah, exactly. So. And it's not like I don't ever get to do anything. So, and that's what makes retirement sweet, right? <laughs> retirement. <laughs> Where's that in the Bible? You don't have to retire. <laughs> I'm gonna work till I'm eighty. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. So. So that concludes our Q&A, but ultimately I do want to add in one more thing, and that is really and truly how important it is to seek the Lord as a couple and as a family, and especially in regards to homeschooling and discipling and raising your children. And so, yeah. Oh, 100%. He taught me that. I did? Yeah. Huh, wow. <laughs> See, I am a teacher. Thank you so much, guys, for joining us today. Make sure to check out the playlist down below that Tiffany has put together for us. Check out her channel, too. But there are lots of other families that are participating in this dad homeschool Q&A as well. And so if you're looking for more insight, then I would say go check it out. I know I can't wait to watch it as well. And we're already a homeschool family. So. Oh, yeah, 100%. Yeah. So thanks so much, guys, and see you later.